Hello, hello everybody. Hope you're doing well. Let's get some gloves. So, what we're going to do tonight is a little bit different. So instead of uh, potentially having a background that you want to embellish, we're going to do the background at the same time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll just get this going and I will jump straight in on getting that background created. So yep, we have a balloon. These are the pinks. So I'm really just going to start off oh, like putting a bit of paint around. Maybe if I can get it out of the tubes. So this one here is Scarlet Lake and then we have Crimson for a bit of difference in between the reds. Put some white in the centre. of other places and now some yellow because that would look really nice. Hey mum. Alright. Yeah. So this is hopefully my intention is a really nice warm painting. So between the reds and the yellows would be really nice. So this is just a brush from the cheap shop or Bunnings, one or the other. Um, there's nothing fancy about it that I know of. So just going to take that to the edges. And then while I still have some on my brush, get those sides done. There we go. So this is largely inspired by Molly at Molly's Artistry and so depending on how I go <laughs> I will send her a message saying thank you so much for your inspiration and yeah so coming up So I've got two sides covered, so now I'll just need some more paint. So we'll start off with this side on the right, go along those edges, get those covered, and the top. Well, it doesn't really matter because doesn't actually have a direction as yet. Alright, so now that the sides are done, we can just focus on getting some of these lines through. A little bit of blending of the colour. I like that darker spot there. And oh, I'm going to change that. There we go. So there's still a bit of white in here and some crimson. Just to change it up a little bit, I'm going to have different lines facing different directions. To go with that freedom of not having a specific direction for it. 
Just trying to get some of that white down as well. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so that's done. It's not very thick. So I just brought, sit that in a cup of water temporarily so I can finish washing that out afterwards. And I'm going to run the heat gun over it just to help dry it off a bit. And the other thing too is now that there is some paint on the canvas, I'd like to lift it up off the surface uh, so that there's circulation underneath. So I'll put, put it up on these little caps from my tube paints. And at the back. And then just feel around making sure that they're underneath well and now that there's circulation underneath the canvas at the same time. just giving that a little bit of time to sit there um, yeah it's like thank you so much for watching the video and while we're going through this may you be inspired learn something new or simply relax while you're watching um, so as I mentioned this has been inspired by Molly from Molly's Artistry and that's what I enjoy about this so if you find inspiration from this like I found from Molly like how fantastic is that that we have this opportunity to share all these things with people across the globe so. all right so I might just hit that with one more little bit of heat now that it's had a little bit of a breather in between a tiny speck in there. I'm just trying to go. Just trying not to put my gloves in it. <laughs> Alright, so this also is a 
new time frame for me to go live. Um, so I've decided that I will go live at 8.30 um, for the rest of the month. So I would appreciate that too if you could share that. And then come and join in when it's when it's time. So it's like, come on, come on, come on. So, all right. So the other thing is, right? I have my pre-mixed paints, and they are here. So this is the cadmium yellow hue. This all the way at the back over there is the crimson. Um, Scarlet Lake, there's a little bit left in that, but that's that one. And then Titanium White, which, oh, there's a tiny bit left in there. So that's the Titanium White. So I've used paints that are exactly what I've got mixed up onto the, over at the side. But for this one, to add an extra couple of features or that extra bit of colour. I'm also going to add this deep violet, dark purple that I created myself from a mix of Purple Lake, uh, Ultramarine Deep and potentially I think some Crimson as well. So I just thought that in amongst with some of the reds would give it that extra little bit of bit of colour in there. So let's make sure my hands are dry. Now we're going to blow up the balloon ready to go. So basically even when I was younger, oh, back in the day, you know, when I'm not going to say when the dinosaurs roamed because that's not quite true. Um, let's give the balloon a stretch to help blow it up. Try and look at, <clears throat> am I happy with that size? Go a bit smaller. Test how squishy it is. <coughs> and decide, yep, that's where I want it. Okay. So tie it up now, and you can see it's still got that bit of stretch available. And yeah. So we can sit that aside now. That's ready to go. <clears throat> and we're not going to use the Scarlet Lake for this section because I feel like it's too close to the colour that's on the canvas. So we will use the deep purple, the crimson and the yellow to try. So this is where we're doing those loopy lines again. If you remember, I did those when I was embellishing a previous pour. Um, only thing is, this one in particular, it doesn't have the same spout as these ones. So we'll see how that goes. So this looks like a 12 by 12 or maybe even a 14 by 14 inch canvas. So 30, 35 centimeters squared, perhaps. Um, my rule has gone walkabout. So we're just going to start 
putting on some loopy lines. Um, that's the only way I can think of to describe them. So, start off the canvas and then come on, loop it and off. That worked out pretty well even though it was from this kind of black. Hey, hi Mandy, how are you going? Thanks for popping in. I really appreciate it. So then we'll go with the crimson now. All right. So I think this time I'd like to start here before you always go at it, have a look and loving that orange. <coughs> Thank you. It's not quite as orange on the canvas as it is on the camera. Um, but yeah, so on the background, Mandy, I had crimson, scarlet lake, yellow and white and just blended it all and mixed it as I spread it around. So I think I'll start here and work my way over the here. So nice flow, come straight on. I think I got a little bit wobbly there, a little bit hesitant. That's okay. And the yellow, I think we're pretty much might just go from here up to here. So they kind of this this was far side to far side. This was almost far side to far side, just shy of it. So this time around, if we start over here. will come off over here. So it'll be another one that's almost far side to far side. Okay. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> oh, it's kind of fun. I'm really still nervous. So what we're going to do now is create some small puddles and squash them out with the balloon. So start with the darker purple. Start over here. This is where I'll add some of that Scarlet Lake back in. Yellow. And just leave it at those three, perhaps, for this one. No, add a dash of crimson. So grabbing the balloon and so now we'll push down and see what that creates. Alright, so hand down, bring it up, oh so cool, even that looks amazing. I don't know how that would go if I were to put that down again. A little bit nervous about that. So, <clears throat> here 
is a piece of photo paper. Here's one I prepared earlier. I'm going to use that onto there. Alright, so wiping that off now. Create some more puddles, work out the direction I'd like my balloon smashes to be. And I think this direction, so we'll go with crimson. Cadmium yellow here. Maybe for this one, a little bit of titanium white. And then the darker purple. And look at how that one goes. And push it down. There we go. Oh, even as it touched into that crimson in the loopy line. Very pretty. Wiping that balloon off now. for some Scarlet Lake again. Another bit of white. Go with the yellow again because we're more on the yellow side. And just a touch of the crimson. Pushing down, coming back up, I think I'd like to go over that one again, just wipe off the balloon. Now I just like to try and do some two little ones, one in here and one this way. Drop of white onto this one. Oh, couldn't get it to stop dripping. It was dripping all over the place. Okay. So if you're enjoying the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. And leave me a comment below and share it with others. That would be really supportive and so I would be so appreciative. So, there's always other ways you can um, support the channel. <clears throat> I do have a PayPal link below. There is Super Chat available and stickers. And simply by doing the former mentioned sharing, liking, um, it really does help and it's much appreciated. So these ones are the much smaller ones. I'll give it a little mini squash. Sweet. Okay, now this one over here, a bit more of a squash out. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of that final one, so we'll do that one again. So 
I need to give it some more paint. A couple of drops of that again. So I've wiped off the balloon and squashed this one down. There we go. Oops. Here we go. You love the balloon smashes? Yeah. So I like, I want to have this negative space. But I also feel like, no, that's enough. Um, the loopy lines are definitely enough to uh, it, it's busy with those the focus on the five and I might make this one a bit bigger that's what I'll do that might be what I'm looking at because it's that bit smaller than the others It's a little bit more size appropriate, I'd say. I'll add this one to the photo paper. It's a bit muddy. So there we have it. That's cool enough. I like that. And kind of a different experience at the same time. So um, what I'd like to do though is just bring you down over to here. To this little photo paper. And it's very busy, very very. Um, because it's the second dip, there's not a lot of paint, so it's got a lot of those uh, variations, striations, something, those little effects. So I might actually try and leave you there. And we'll do... If the sun dries, like the canvas will, which is amazing so far from my experience, I'm going to send this to somebody. Alright, a purple in between. No, there's no room to add the purple. There's enough purple in there as a feature. So we'll see how this goes. If this works, yeah, I'll send it out to somebody. And also, um, did I create more, if that works, to be able to send out. So, all right, let's have a close-up before we sign off. And, yeah. So we'll flip this over now, change direction, there we go. Right. 
So this is the bottom left hand corner. Oh. There's the photo paper. So we'll see how that goes. Bottom left hand corner will go straight up. So you can see the brush marks in the background, which is cool. Don't mind that. You can see some of the differing colours in there. Over to the right hand side. It's also different doing a square canvas as well. And then coming down. So there we have it. Leave you about there, I'll say. Thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Do the loopy lines dry flat? They do, but they also do sit on the surface um, because the background is completely different to the consistency of the loopy lines. So there we have it. Um, I will show you. I'll share that on my Instagram page. And very soon my Facebook group will be up and running. So we'll be able to share lots of paintings and creations and inspirations onto that page. Um, yeah, so thank you so, so much, everybody. <clears throat> I really appreciate you being here. If you're watching on the replay, thank you so much. And yeah, take care if you have to head out anywhere. And be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.